Um, we, we talked earlier about um, legitimate interest as, as a way of processing candidate data. And this is quite candidate centric to reiterate your employees are covered, all data subjects are covered. Um, and we talked about it very much, certainly from the questions to the floor, about a very minimal amount of data. But if you want to capture quite detailed CV data, employment history, education, skills, how can you ensure you're compliant? What, what options are available to you? Um, is consent ever an option? Is it ever the terrible thing it's being made out to be in the press? Or does it have some validity? And under legitimate interest, could you hold more than just the minimal data? Okay, well, I'm not, it's, 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 again, it's one of these million dollar questions, I suppose, suppose which I'm probably going to try to, I will try to avoid, but probably will give a lawyerish response because it, 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 it depends on the nature of the data and what you're trying to achieve. I mean, legitimate interests is you know, a valid reason to, to hold data. It is perfectly valid. Um, it exists, as I said earlier, to, because, of the, because of the fact that consent in many contexts is either difficult to obtain or it's not proportionate to obtain consent. So you're allowing legitimate interests. So that has to be understood. But with legitimate interests comes the need, I think, for transparency. So that's very much linked towards making people aware. If you're going to rely on that ground, I think you need to focus very, quite heavily on transparency and the requirements there. Bearing in mind, as, as, we, as I discussed earlier, you have to give transparency notices out unless you're going to argue it's a disproportionate effort to do so. And that does seem to me to be quite a difficult uh, um, argument to, to, to raise in a number of contexts. So um, it does depend. I'm not, I'm not saying that you, and bearing in mind also with legitimate interests, if you're going to be transparent, you're then going to have to tell the, the candidate that they have the right to object to the processing um, because, it's legit, because, because legitimate interest is one of those areas where they have a right to object if they don't agree with what you're doing with it. You get to the stage where you might say, well, why don't you actually go for consent in the first place? Because if I have consent, then I have clear parameters around how I'm going to process this data. And so I might actually have a dialogue with the candidate around what they want me to do and what they don't want me to do. Now, this is a mixture of law and business practice. So you know, one has to look at the facts in each particular case. But as a lawyer looking at this objectively, um, you know, what, I'm interested to know why people are so reluctant um, to, to have consent in, in, in the recruitment process. Because certainly if I were a candidate and I were approached by a, by, by, by a search organization for a role, I'd be very keen to have some control of what would be, what, what would be happening. Um, I, I think the complexity is in executive search that a lot of people on the database don't even know that they are being considered as candidates. So, I, I, you know, I, I, I think that, Simon, one of the issues around consent is that there are more obligations and possibly a higher level of fines if you are holding data under consent. It's certainly more complicated in order to manage that data once you've got it under consent. So that, that would be the, the key thing from, that, I, that I would, would argue and we've talked to our lawyers about. You know, Simon's absolutely right. It's, it, it's an equally... People talk about consent as if it is the sort of the best way, but actually they're, they're all equal, aren't they, Simon? They're all equal in terms um, of, well, it they're all legitimate legal yeah, basis yeah, they, of processing. They, they, they are, but I, I think you and I might differ on, 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 on the consent point, because I think that um, in this context, legitimate interest comes with it certain requirements, which includes having clear privacy notices, mm. which are transparent, and also, I'm not sure that the fines issue is any different, to be honest. I think that you've still got limited purposes for which you can process data. And in the recruitment context, you've got the overlap with the Employment Practices Code, which certainly focuses on the need for consent in terms of sharing candidate data with employers in many, in many, in many situations. So I do think it's complicated, but I, I would... I mean, I'm not trying to have a... No, you know, sure. they're, they're, lawyers do differ on this they particular do. point. <laughs> they definitely <laughs> do. So, you know, I think in terms of, of the way that, that we, we tend to be, and we've talked to our lawyers about, is it's, it's a beneficial, you know, in terms of the way you're dealing with the candidates or the, the, people's, the people's data, which is they have the right to withdraw. So you can proceed with legitimate interest. But obviously you get to a point 
where you, particularly when you're interviewing people, when you are going to be gathering data on them, which is going to be ex ex um, special category data, you're going to learn about their health, um, you know, so, some issues that, that you're going to need their consent for. So, it, you know, you need to look at what's happening in the process. Um, obviously, being transparent is absolutely clear, but certainly my view would be in the early stages of a search, when you are just looking at, you know, the long listing, um, who you might be approaching, taking consent at that stage, I don't think is, is, is possible. And also, it's not actually desirable because if you start ringing lots of people up and saying hey you know we've just identified you for this you know CEO role and they're completely not right for it, it what benefit is that going to be to them okay but you've got to think about what what level of detail so again it's about risk it's about understanding what you're holding um, and legitimate interest is certainly you know, a, a valid response but you need to understand and, and define your own policy I think my understanding is just to um, kind of put a view on the fines. I don't believe there's a differentiation between whatever lawful basis you're using. If there's a, a violation around the lawful basis, then that attracts a particular tier of the fines. My understanding is also that the, the, the requirements around data minimization apply equally across whatever form of lawful basis you're, you're utilizing. So again, it doesn't make a great deal of difference from a, a data collection perspective and the data, what sorts of data you're holding with the exception of special categories, what lawful basis you're holding, you still have to comply with the rest of the regulation. Yeah, again, I think it shows that you really have to demonstrate that compliance, that that's so important. Um, that if you are going to deal with the ICO, you are expected to have an audit trail showing your, your, your efforts to, to comply. Um, the, the more you've got documented, the better and I think it also shows as Helen said that irrespective of which view you take and it's a, an ongoing debate which will be for some time um, and, and you might and you might process. take you might take different views depending on different stage of the process I, yeah. do, I don't think you can say we're going to use legitimate interest throughout you know I think yeah. you might even say at different stages of the assignment process you might want to rely on different lawful basis rather than just going for one so that, that would be my view. yeah it's an interesting point you could move from legitimate interest yeah. to, to consent you can't move the other way, I believe, if, you, if they you say can't, no, you can't, you can't then go, I have another reason. No, not for, not for one specific processing task. You may have a different task for a different use of the data, but you can't go from consent, and if they don't give you consent, try and apply for legitimate 